I just rebuilt an app with 20 million users without writing a single line of code. You don't need years of experience or a whole team of developers to build apps anymore. So today I will show you exactly how I used AI to recreate this ridiculously simple app. I'll walk you through everything step by step. Here's the simple three step process we'll follow. First we will use AI to generate the app idea and then we will build the full UI and the app features. The second step is to add user authentication and connect a real backend with Superbase. And finally, we will test out the app on our phone and publish it to the App Store and the Play Store. Now let's jump in. If you've never used TickTick before, it's a productivity app where you have everything in one place. It's clean, addictive and incredibly popular since it has 20 million downloads and more than 470,000 ratings. In this video, I'm rebuilding a custom version of TickTick completely with AI. Step 1. Use AI to generate your app idea and build the full UI and all the features for your app. Before we start building, there's one crucial step and it's where most beginners get stuck. You've got a vague idea like I want to rebuild an app like TickTick, but how do you turn that into something that AI can actually build for you? That's why I built Braindumper.ai. It's a free tool that turns your messy app idea into a clean optimized prompt. Just go to Braindumper.ai and select your tool. For this video, I'm using Rourke. Now just brain dump everything about your app idea and hit generate. In about 30 to 60 seconds, you will get a ready to use context. So now click the copy button and then click the button to open Rourke. So now that we have planned the app using brain number, it's time to actually build it using a tool called Rourke. Rourke is an AI powered app builder built specifically for React Native. That means that we are building the app in just one code base that works for both iOS and Android. Now inside Rourke, paste in the prompt that you got from brain dumper and hit enter. Rourke is now going to build your entire app live. You can open the code tab to watch it write all of the components, the screens and the logic in real time. Now you're watching your idea turn into an app line by line. This might take a few minutes so I just speed up the process for you. Alright so about four to five minutes later it's done. And now Rourke automatically runs a code inspector to check for any bugs or missing pieces. Click the little drop down arrow and you will see exactly what's wrong. So just just hit fix now and Rourke will automatically fix all of the issues for you. One minute later the app is working. Perfect. Rourke has a built-in emulator where you can test out your app directly within the browser without needing to leave the page. So now let's quickly test the app to see if it's working. Okay so we are on the tasks page so now let's mark all of the tasks as complete. If we now switch over to the active tab we can see that it's empty as expected and then over on completed. Perfect. All the tasks that we have checked off are there. Now at the top we have got something called lists, which is categories to sort your tasks by. And at the bottom we have our four tab navigation. First we have the tasks page, this is our home page. Then we have the calendar page, okay nice, this looks good. And then we have the timer page for tracking how long we spend on each task. And then we have the profile page and this is just the settings page. This UI already looks good so I won't be changing it for the MVP. Let's head back to the timer tab to test it out. Yep, it's actually working from just one single prompt, that's wild. But now let's improve it. When I go over to create a task, I notice the due date and the reminder fields aren't set up yet. So let's prompt this in Rourke. Add the due date picker and reminder option in the new task creation menu and then hit enter. A minute later it's done. So now let's test it again but this time on my actual phone. So on your phone go over to the app store or the play store and download the Expo Go app. Then open the camera app and scan the QR code Rourke gives you on the computer and then tap on the link and the app opens instantly on our device. So now let's try creating a new task. I'll just type in clean the house and then set the due date to tomorrow. Pick a time to be reminded for the task and then click on create task. Amazing! We can even open the task details again to edit or delete the task. It's honestly crazy how we just went from an idea to a prompt to a fully functional mobile app in just a few minutes on my phone. Step 2. Add user authentication and connect a real backend with Superbase. Alright, our app is now looking great, but to turn it into a real app we need to set up a backend. 
need. Specifically, two things. The first one is user authentication so that people can create accounts in our app. And the second one is a real-time database to store and to sync the data. We'll handle both using Superbase, an all-in-one backend as a service. Now let's integrate it in just a few steps. Back in Rourke, prompt this. Set up Superbase for user authentication, hit enter and let the AI do its magic. Now Rourke will install the Superbase client, generate the login and the sign up screens and configure the user authentication logic behind the scenes. Just let it run for a moment. Okay, so now it's done. So the next step is to head over to the integrations tab in Rourke, click enable next to backend support and this tells Rourke to update your app's code to support external services like Superbase. It might rerun the setup, but that's okay. While Rourke is finishing up, let's set up Superbase. First, go over to superbase.com, click start a project and then create a new organization if you don't have one already. Then create a new project, just call it your app's name. And once you're done, scroll down to find your project URL and your API key. Now you just need to copy the API key and back in Rourke, let's prompt, here is the Superbase API key and then paste in your API key and hit enter. This will connect your app directly to your new Superbase backend. So once it's done, click save. And one thing that I love about Rourke is that after every prompt, it automatically runs a code inspector. So it's quality checking everything to make sure the code works and has no problems. This way, the code will always be well written. Now let's head over to the preview tab and test it out. I'll try signing up with name, email and password. And perfect, we're redirected to the home screen, which means the authentication should be working. To fully confirm it, go to your Superbase dashboard and open the authentication tab. And here you will see your new user in the list if it's working. And just like that, we have added a secure login and sign up system to our app. Next, we need to set up the database so our app can store and use real data. And in Rourke, it's as simple as prompting, write the database schema for the app in an SQL file, which I can put in the SQL editor in Superbase. Then hit enter. And a database schema is basically a blueprint for how your app's data is structured. Now Rourke will generate a complete SQL file that defines all of the tables that we need in our database. So just copy that SQL file. And now let's jump over to Superbase, open the SQL editor and click new SQL snippet. Here just paste in the copied text and hit run. And perfect, your database is now live. To confirm that what we just did is working, go over to the table editor. And here you will see all of the tables set up, ready to start saving user data. Now for the last step, we are going to do a final test of our app on our phone and publish the app to App Store or to the Play Store. Now let's make sure that everything is working together. So open the app on your phone using Expo Go. So just scan the QR code again. So now I will create a new list, something simple like work, then add a task inside that list email client by 3 p.m. And then I'll tap save. So if we now jump back over to Superbase and open the table editor and hit refresh, there it is, your new list and task saved in real time to the cloud. Now users can create tasks, track habits and manage schedules. And every change is synced live, securely and ready to scale. So now there is just one more step remaining. Now it's time to ship it. By using Rourke, prepping your app for launch is very simple. Here's how. Head to the app settings panel in the top left corner. Here you can rename your app, upload your app icon and set the bundle ID for both the App Store and the Google Play Store. Once you have configured everything, hit save changes and now in the top right corner, click publish. And here you will get three options. The first one is share on Rourke and this is where you can publish and send a Rourke link to your friends to test out the app. The second option is to deploy to test flight and this is where you can publish the app to the App Store. And the final option is to deploy to the Google Play Play Store. So choose the platform you want to use and follow the step-by-step -step instructions that Rourke provides. And just keep in mind that you will need a developer account for either platform. For the Google Play Store, it costs a one-time fee of $25. And for the App Store, it costs $99 a year. We have gone from an idea to a prompt to a functional app to production, all in under 20 minutes and with no code. Thank you to Rourke for sponsoring this video. I've been wanting to make a video on Rourke for the longest time and now I finally did. I've made this entire video into a structured blog post if you want this as a step-by-step -step guide. Link is in the description. And now you have seen how this strategy works step-by-step. -step. But what if I told you that I used a different tool to clone an app that sold for over $1 million? 
click here to watch how I rebuilt PuffCount and how you can do the same even if you've never written a single line of code yourself.